Welcome to the Bully Proof Diva vlog. My name is Trociana Graves and I am the Bully Proof Diva and I'm so glad that you are here. Letting go of the guilt that you feel at work when you identify that you have the power to no longer subject yourself to the bullying behaviors of the bullies at work. Letting go of the guilt that you feel. Here's what you need to go know before I give you the three steps to my call to action for you. When you begin to disengage yourself, when you, in other words, begin to make concrete actions, concrete comments, concrete choices to no longer allow yourself to be targeted by bullying behavior at work, you can find yourself feeling guilty. You can find yourself as strange as it may sound, literally feeling as though you're no longer playing an essential role that your bully or bullies need you to provide. Your bullies or the bully can actually make you feel as though you're failing them by setting boundaries, by actually refusing to engage in behaviors and discussions and relationships where you're being targeted. And when you find yourself feeling guilty for actually standing up for yourself, you can find yourself succumbing to no longer letting those boundaries protect yourself. Because let us face it, when you are being bullied at work, it is you or your bully. You have to decide who you're going to stand for, who you're going to empower. And when you allow yourself to be bullied or when you are being bullied, you've actually empowered the bully at the cost of yourself. And when you take your power back, when you begin to actually no longer allow your bully to be empowered at your expense, your bully experiences a sense of disempowerment. And you can and feel, you can feel an incredible sense of, of guilt, of, of, of feeling badly and feeling disoriented, hence the guilt. If you feel this guilt and when you feel this guilt, here's what I want you to know. One, you are not responsible for your bully or bullies feeling great about themselves at work. Two, your team, your company cannot and will not thrive at your expense or because you've actually are sacrificing or permitting yourself to withstand bullying behaviors. It's a myth. And the third thing is when you actually stand up for yourself, you can begin to feel as though, are you worth it? Maybe you're not worth it. Maybe you deserved feeling and being bullied. And you can feel incredibly guilty and conflicted about this. You need to at that time understand that you are responsible for feeling great. And there's no need for you to ever feel shame or guilt. You may feel these sensations of guilt or apprehension, engine, but it's actually essential that you in that moment tell yourself and remind yourself letting go of the guilt is the best thing you can do for yourself and your workplace culture. So here's to you being bully proof, being brilliant, and allowing your authentic self to shine and be respected and be a representation of who you are and who you're becoming for everyone at work and in life. My name is Trociana Graves, your Bullyproof Diva. Until we meet again, we are so glad you are here.